Asthma is a chronic, lifelong condition that makes it difficult to breathe. As many as one in four Ontario students are affected by asthma. It's a leading cause of absenteeism and emergency department visits, and can even be life-threatening. Yet because asthma symptoms come and go, it can often be dismissed as not very serious by students, parents, and school staff. It's imperative that school staff are aware of and appreciate the seriousness of asthma, understand what asthma is, and learn to recognize the signs and symptoms of asthma. How does asthma affect the body? Students with asthma have sensitive airways in their lungs. When they are exposed to their triggers, the airways narrow, making it difficult to breathe. During an asthma attack, the airways narrow because the lining of the airways becomes swollen, extra mucus production causes blockage, and muscles surrounding the airways tighten and squeeze. There are four common signs and symptoms of an asthma attack. Coughing, chest tightness, difficulty breathing, and wheezing, which is a whistling sound coming from inside the chest. Often, the most recognizable symptom in a classroom setting is coughing. A common response from teachers is to send the student for a drink of water. This is not helpful in relieving asthma symptoms and can delay the student from using their reliever inhaler. Using a reliever inhaler is the fastest and most effective step in relieving asthma symptoms. I know when my asthma is getting worse because I start to cough and I had trouble breathing, it feels like someone's sitting on my chest. When I have trouble breathing, I tell my teacher, take my inhaler, and I feel better. Often, asthma symptoms are brought on because the student was exposed to one of their triggers. What is meant by asthma triggers? An asthma trigger is anything in the environment that causes or brings on asthma symptoms. Triggers are unique to the individual and change over time. The most common triggers include colds and viruses, physical activity, and cold air. Triggers can be divided into two groups, allergens and irritants. Allergens involve the immune system and therefore can involve other parts of the body and have a longer duration. Allergen triggers include things like tree and grass pollen, animal dander, house dust mites, mold, and some foods. Irritants include things like smoke, air pollution, and some strong smells. There are allergen triggers and irritant triggers that are commonly found in a school environment. Common school triggers include scents from markers and cleaning products, musty or dusty gym mats, carpets and drapes, dust and dust mites, schoolyard allergens including trees, grasses and weeds, exhaust from school buses and cars, pests such as mice, rats and cockroaches, and pet dander from home carried on students' clothes. Triggers are different and unique for each student with asthma. Helping students to avoid or limit exposure to their personal triggers is one way to prevent asthma symptoms from developing. Understanding what happens during an asthma attack, knowing your student's triggers, and helping them manage their symptoms will help ensure that students with asthma experience minimal disruptions in their learning and stay safe in the classroom. For more information on the wide variety of support materials available to educators regarding asthma management in schools, visit Ophia's asthmafriendly.ca. Additional resources are also available from the Lung Health Foundation and Asthma Canada at lunghealth.ca and asthma.ca. For more information on asthma readiness regulation, review Ryan's Law and PPM 161.